In this first item on Part B of the third test, we're asked to find the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis. That x-axis is not uh, coincident with the centroid of anything, and we also have uh, this big, large composite shape that can be brought or thought of as a sequence of little pieces. So that means we're going to have a series of applications of the parallel axis theorem. Where we'll move the second moment of area of each piece with the ADI squared term of each piece and add or, in the appropriate case, subtract as we go along. So we're going to look at this as one big large rectangle going all the way around the entire piece and then subtract off the circle, the, the little triangle, and the little rectangle along the way. And so <coughs> take note here of this first one, the big triangle where we're going to move from the centroid and which is at of course half of the height and that would be 1 12 bh cubed plus then bh the area times the distance we're moving it h over 2 squared that will inevitably since we're moving it right to the base will be bh cubed over 3 so we could have gone right to that that's provided as an equation in our table and that would be our first item here for I about the new will be in aggregate here. <coughs> the base times the height cubed over 3 and inch times inch cubed would be inches to the fourth and then we'll subtract off all of the rest of this. The 80 squared, or sorry, the second moment of area about the centroid for the solid circle will be pi times the radius to the fourth power over 4 plus the area of that circle times the distance that we're moving it, which is two and a half inches, and that will be squared. And then we're also going to get rid of the triangle, and so we've got um, base height cubed over 36 for that one, so two times two to third power over 36, plus the area of the triangle times the distance that we're moving it, which is going to be 2 inches to get from the axis to the tip of the triangle, plus 2 thirds of that height of 2, so 4 thirds, and that whole thing would be squared. And then we'll have the small rectangle. It's going to be 1 twelfth of bh cubed, so 3 times 2 cubed over 12 and then we have to move it, 3 times 2 is the area, and the distance we're moving it is 2 plus the 1, or 3 squared. You might ask why didn't we use bh cubed over 3 in this case, and that's because that would have been the wrong axis, that base of that rectangle would have been up there, and we can't just go bh cubed over 3 and then add another d squared term in there because it's not linear. So we have to do this properly from the centroid of the little rectangle all the way down to the new axis. And you work that out, and you will get 92.9 inches to the fourth as your answer.